Hey guys, welcome to my channel here. It's another another video on Adam Stair Motor. Um, this one's a little bit different than the normal. Um, this is one that I made years ago, probably almost 20 years ago. Um, the smaller, cheaper magnets, the right there, as you can see with the little base coils. Um, this one doesn't have a circuit, so today we're going to be looking at this one. This has a closed loop magnetic field, which you don't see very often for this type of motor. Uh, this motor has two circuits with optical timing, like most of mine do. Um, the output is down there at the bottom in yellow and white. This is not isolated output, so this one has to go be used for something else. It can't go back into the original battery. Um, it's real neat how it works, so you have two two systems here. First system is top and bottom electromagnet, and there's actually two neodymium magnets in there with the same polarity. Very difficult to see in this motor, but the same. So you have these two right here fired together. So when these are firing in repulsion, the magnetic field goes around and has a place to go to here to make the the attraction on the next pole even more and then when it gets to this pole these two fire with the second circuit and then it keeps going back and forth back and forth um, to create the rotation um, the output today is going to go right up into this capacitor um, the output could be a couple hundred volts with um, just a 12 volt battery as input so you can see the voltmeter here sitting at you know, 0.9 or 1 volt right now. So we'll get this thing started. It runs about 2,000 RPMs. Uh, very, very torquey motor. You know, half the motor power is just the attraction of the magnet to the stator steel, and then it goes into repulsion. So half the torque of the motor is actually um, just the power of the magnets. Uh, if you want to know even more information about Adam's motor, um, YouTube guy, Wave Guide. He has some really great prototypes coming out. Um, his most recent motor was was quite cool. So anyway, let's fire this thing up. So a little noisy, but you can see the output going kind of up and down. But it's enough for one to LED light. Um, motor's quite noisy, but we could. Turn it down a little bit, get those pulses working better. And you can see it goes up to 70 volts. Um, this motor under full power is virtually impossible to stop with your hand or anything of the sort. There's a tremendous amount of control. Um, a little noisy with the bearings. Because there's so much twisting force it makes a lot of racket in there but uh see it runs really nice besides the noise the optical timing working really good there um right now i have it dimmed down quite a bit but we could get it at the full speed about three amps and load it up until i'm putting my fingers on it and it's just almost eight amps so quite efficient for our torque um, putting the output, so I'll shut, shut this down, it's quite noisy, so yeah, quite a bit of torque for a little motor like this. Um, the output could be put into this capacitor to run light bulbs or whatever, um, or you could put it in this system that I made, a pulse capacitor discharge, that at 16 volts it discharged into the second battery. Uh, one of these motors I had, the fan motor, I don't know if you're you guys saw my previous videos, but that one actually ran the Christmas lights around my house for a while while I was running the fan, which was pretty neat. Um, this motor was designed specifically for high torque, so RPM is about 2,000 at full speed. Uh, full load is about 1,500. So I thought I'd share it with everybody. Thank you for watching.